morning to everyone. And it is a distinct pleasure and an honor to welcome Father Peter uh, Guevara, who has uh, just moved in uh, with us here at uh, the rectory uh, and ready to uh, start uh, start here this weekend at St. John St. Joseph. So a very uh, warm welcome to Father Peter. Uh, and so as we gather together here uh, in prayer, in prayer uh, this morning, we pause for a moment as we come now here to this 9 o'clock morning hour uh, to recall in prayer all those uh, who are suffering with COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And be with your spirit. My friends, as we approach the Lord in this moment, we pause for just a moment to call to mind those times that we have strayed from the Lord's path of discipleship. And we ask once more for the great gifts of his mercy, his pardon, and his peace. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is within. Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given to us by God. And as, as we speak about them, not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by any, anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord, so as to counsel him, but we of the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithfulness once bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom, 
the kingdom of, of the kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who bow down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of him and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember one of the first times that I got to college campus, thinking of many who are going back to college in these very difficult and extraordinary times. I remember one of the first times that I moved into the dorm uh, at Mount St. Mary's, and I was first couple weeks trying you know get, getting acquainted with uh people and there was uh, one conversation i remember i struck up with uh somebody who uh, i was kind of around and fo following around and we started to get into some sort of debate not not a heated debate but some sort of uh, debate about a particular topic and honestly i can't remember what it was it was maybe one of the uh, the more hot button issues of the day and as we talked it through and each side kind of presented their uh, <laughs> one of us presented uh, our, our arguments, our reasons on each side. The conversation eventually got to a point, I remember, where we said we had to agree to disagree. We had to recognize that we both had distinct perspectives that, at least in that moment, were not going to be able to be readily reconciled. And I thought of that as we hear from St. Paul today, kind of contrast for us the, the, the natural perspective, if you will, of the natural man, of the world, and of the spiritual man, the spiritual person, the, the, the perspective of God's Holy Spirit given to us. That oftentimes, those two perspectives, they just don't see eye to eye. Sometimes the, the approach of the world can, is, it often just comes, in, uh, and comes at odds with the perspective of the Spirit, with with where God is leading us and calling us in our life. And so it's a, a, a good reminder for us today that as, as people of the Holy Spirit, people to whom God's Holy Spirit has been given to us to dwell with us, and guide with us, that, that we are always to, to strive to see and to live with these eyes of faith, the eyes of faith, the eyes of God's Holy Spirit who, who acts within us, who who moves around us and who always seeks to lead us to the things of God, to the things of God's kingdom in our midst. And for this today, might we see clearly with these eyes of faith, might we approach, as St. Paul says, everything that we do with the mind of Christ. Having received the very Spirit of God, we now 
Bring our petitions before the Father this day. That bishops, priests, and deacons may receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in their ministry of preaching. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That political leaders in every nation, most especially in our own nation, may be led by God's justice and mercy as they serve their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may relieve and grant assistance to all who are suffering from the, the physical, practical, financial effects of sickness and ill health, especially this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may increase the gifts of understanding and wisdom in us as a community of believers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who have died in the light of Christ may now rest in his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Paul McNichol, the special intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For continued, continued healing and reconciliation and unity within our communities and our nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those prayers and needs that we now lift up, lift up to the Lord in the silence of this moment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear these prayers that we have offered this day and answer them according to your will. For we ask them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, that is pure and good in his name, and in his strength, and in the favor of his Christ. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We can lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, 
giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be 